hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl on the board again guys in today's video we are going to be looking at financial system what is a financial system so we will be looking at what a financial system is now before i start i want to first of all appreciate all my subbies for coming back to watch my videos and if you're watching me for the very first time please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel and then don't forget to state a comment at the comment section like the video if you find it interesting all right so in today's video like i said we it's all about the financial system yes guys it's all about the financial system what is a financial system that is a question we are going to be answering today now this is a densely interconnected network of financial intermediaries facilitators and markets that service three major purpose guys a financial system service three major purpose the first purpose is allocating capital the second purpose is sharing risk and the third is facilitating intertemporal trade now the financial system main function guys is to efficiently link borrowers to lenders now when we talk about borrowers and lenders what do we mean now let's look at the borrowers here now the borrowers here include investors entrepreneurs other economic agents like domestic households governments established businesses foreigners with potentially profitable business ideas now when we are talking about potentially profitable ideas we are talking about people who have positive net present value projects but with limited financial resources so they have positive net present value projects which means they have potentially profitable business ideas yet guys they have limited financial resources so if you see such people you know definitely they need money to finance these projects they have all right so in that case it means that their expenditures are greater than their revenue guys so now when we talk of lenders or savers here we are talking about domestic households we are talking about businesses we are talking about government we are talking about foreigners with excess funds excess funds guys it means these people have so much money so they are the ones that are going to give out this money to those people that had that potentially profitable business ideas but they didn't have enough money to run with the project so such people here who are lenders will be the one to lend that money to them so they can push up their uh profitable business ideas now when we talk about foreigners with excess funds we are talking about people who have revenue that is more than their expenditures so of course their revenue is greater than their expenditures and when we are talking about borrowers we are talking about these people whose expenditures are greater than their revenue so in this case of lenders this simply means their revenue are greater than their expenditures guys um so a financial system is simply a set of institutions which allows the exchange of funds between lenders borrowers and investors so guys in simple terms a financial system is simply a set of institution which allows the exchange of funds between lenders borrowers and investors now let's look at what such institution is now reason when we if we say a financial system is a set of institution which institution what institution are we talking about here now let's look at uh, the institutions we are talking about we are talking about institutions like banks mutual funds insurance companies finance and lending corporations stock exchanges guys so these are the institutions we are talking about this is the institutions we are saying it allows the exchange of funds between lenders and borrowers then investors so when you see such an institution an institution know that this is what we call a financial system now guys the financial system 
also helps to link risk adverse entities called the hedgers. So risk adverse entities is what we call the hedgers to risk loving entities uh, called the speculators. So when you hear of speculators, know that we mean the risk loving entities. And when we talk of hedgers, no, we mean the risk adverse entities. So this the risk adverse entities and links uh, uh, up with the risk loving entities with the help of the financial uh, system. All right. Now we have talked about a financial market before, but now I want us to just watch over something, guys. Now, a financial market, like I said before, is a market where people trade financial securities and derivatives at low transaction costs. So it refers to any market where the trading of securities in or uh, occurs. Now it includes the stock market, the bond market the derivative market uh, and so on it is any avenue now guys a financial market i want you to get this a financial market is any avenue for the sale and purchase of assets now when we talk about assets being sold in the financial market guys what do we mean what do we mean by assets being sold in a financial market? Remember, a financial market is any market, uh, any market, any avenue, any place where the sale and purchase of assets takes place. Now, let's look at the assets that are being sold in this financial ma uh, market. We are talking about bonds. We are talking about stocks. We are talking about foreign exchange and derivatives. And the financial market is sometimes called the capital market. And also, we call it in finance, the Wall Street. We call the financial market in finance sometimes the capital market. Oh, you can call it the Wall Street. So if you see capital market, if you see Wall Street, no, it means the financial market. Don't get confused and say, no, you have, you have never heard of Wall Street before. You have never heard of capital market before. Rem remember, we said a financial market is any place where the sale and purchase of assets uh, such as bonds, stocks, foreign exchange, derivatives takes place. And such market, also called the capital market or the Wall Street. Now, investors can go to financial market to raise money to grow their businesses and also to make more money. So, the financial market basically, guys, helps to link the borrowers, investors, and lenders. So, you can see that the financial market is very, very important. It's an, a, a very important a market okay for business people or investors lenders and borrowers yes guys the financial system also increases gains from trade by providing payment services and facilitating intertemporal trade now a financial system is really really necessary guys some people say is this financial system really necessary yes and yes, it is really necessary because few businesses can't rely uh, on internal finance alone. So not all business can rely on internal finance alone. They want to go out there and borrow more money to invest into their business. They want to go out there and do some trading so they can have more money to invest into their business now specialized financial firms that have achieved minimum efficient scale are better at connecting investors to entrepreneurs than non-financial individuals and companies guys people who understand the principles of money and banking are more likely to live happily successfully fulfilling lives than those who remain ignorant about money and banking now Everyone can improve their lives by under guy. If you can understand the financial system and its rules, then you can actually improve on your life, guys. So, banking is such a complex and important part of the economy. So you have to understand this. You have to understand this, guys. So the financial market, like I said, is very, very important. The financial system is important. We have seen what the financial system is. We have seen what the financial market is. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching.
and stay blessed.